really little. So little on the panel. We're going to put them up there so you guys can see them, okay? Oh, boy, am I tired. We're all tired. No, you're not as tired as I am. That was tall. You went back into the Red Sea? No, I didn't go back into the Red Sea. It looks like you did. Well, it did, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm positive. Anyways, Malachi was worried about all these rules that we have to obey, but we know what they are, and we're going to go over them each, okay, one by one. And we talked about traps. Remember what traps are? Joshua, my main man, gave me some traps. He uses these around the camp <laughs> to catch food and stuff. But sometimes a trap can be mean to us, too. What kind of a trap would we have if a friend told us to go steal something? Or if we went down to the school and wrote things on the wall? See what kind of trap we can get into during our own lives? So we're going to go through these. And uh, if anybody... Well, I'll ask you some questions, okay? What's the first one? The first commandment says that we shouldn't have any gods except our one true God. And why do you think God wants us to honor him only? Because yes. if there's too many, then who, who can we trust? That's right. And he is the one true God. That's a good answer. Anybody else? Um, because... Well, because God is the, uh, because God, I can't, I can't put it in the words. Well, I know the Egyptians trust their gods, and that didn't save them, so very I think good. we should trust our God. It's very good, Malachi. I yeah, like that. he actually saved us. That's right. If we follow fake gods, we're missing out on, on the one true God, right? And he loves us. And don't we trust him too? Sure. Okay, and the second commandment right here. Mm -hmm. This one says that we shouldn't have idols in our lives. Mm -hmm. What's an idol? That means that means things that matter more to us than, than God does. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what kind of a thing in your life might be an idol? Nothing. Huh? Uh, not really my family. Yeah, and you could love your family more than you love God. No! God wants no, to love no, more no, than no, food, no food. And if you had a bicycle, let's say you got a brand new bicycle. I love my family more than that. No! Do you? God says you're supposed to love him above all things, even your yeah. own family. Yeah. Yes. How about if you loved money more? Money no! Would be the same thing. Anything in your life that you love do. more than God would be an idol. Maybe you got a favorite TV program or a brand new bicycle or a favorite friend or a good friend or something like that. That's all. That's fine, but not more than you don't love them more than God does. Right, Malachi? Right. That could be a real trap. Mm -hmm. Especially if you like video games and things like that. I do. I can't believe people like that. <laughs> the third commandment says don't misuse the name of God. In other words, using God like in a dirty sentence, you know, a filthy sentence. And you probably maybe have heard, heard that word before. I know I have. But we're not going to repeat it, do we? That's a real sin. God wants to be called God and nothing else, nothing added to it. That's some of the traps that we can fall into in our lives, see? So, God guides us so... Trust God! All right. Are you starting to understand why God gives us the commandments, Malachi? Yeah, starting okay. to get on. Getting good things for life. Okay, let's check out the next one. This fourth commandment says to keep Sabbath day holy. This one right here. What's the Sabbath day? It's Sunday when we go to church, right? Well, how would you not keep that holy? Anybody got any ideas with that? 
Let's say you want to go out and play golf on Sunday morning instead of coming to church and seeing your friends and listen to the pastor. I can't go to church because my mom has to work all the time. Well, then you need to talk to one of the leaders here and see if we can get you a ride here. Oh, but I do get the oh, Okay, youth group is great. Um, or let's say you have a favorite TV program that comes on Sunday morning. Oh, I don't want to go to church. I don't want to watch my TV. Lord says to keep the Sabbath day holy. The fifth commandment says to honor your mother and your father. So number five. So what ways don't would that be breaking that commandment? Oh, if your mom and your dad do like a lot of great stuff for you, and you and you like and you're, and you're like really greedy, and so like your parents are all. No, you're all meeting your parents like, uh, right. like being smart. Or back, and back talking. Back talking. Yeah, exactly. Yes, I. Not obeying your parents. Good job. Not good obeying job. your parents. That's a good answer. Like when I didn't throw the man out. That's right. Didn't obey. Yeah. Yeah. You see where we're going with these nice rules? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Y
I ask Jesus to forgive me, and he, and he does. So we're not perfect, but Jesus is. Does everybody know who Jesus is here? Yes. yes. Everybody knows. Okay. If you have any questions, I want you to be sure and ask your uh, tribe leader or somebody like that, okay? And Malachi and, and Moses, myself, will be around today. If you've got any questions about God or Jesus, you come see one of us, okay? Now, I've got one more thing for you, just to remind you about all these uh, commandments that God gives. We made some small scrolls for you. And maybe you could take them home and ask your mom or your dad. Or, don't open it. And, uh, yeah, don't open them yet, guys. Put it guys. on the wall. Just It'll be a nice reminder. I'm like a pirate. Um. Yeah. Thank you guys yeah. for coming. Thank you. 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 Thank